Sonali can. I'd like to welcome you to uh, Mr. Quick's online video lesson. Binders. Binders. Is ten percent of your great. <laughs> I'm not doing a check today anyway. I'm I, I'm not telling you when I'm doing it, but you're gonna lose ten percent of your great just like that. So you can play. I'm not checking it today, but I'm gonna check it. And uh, when I do, 10% of your grade going down the tubes now. I told you you have to bring that binder to class every single day. All right, so go ahead and slip and don't bring it. Now, I have, I have went over all the papers and all that stuff here. You know, when you get a chance uh, during break, come and get your stuff. I'm looking for all that stuff to be in the binder. Okay. This is, a, this is a, a big thing. This is as big as the exam. So, you know, you might want to be prepared a little bit with that binder. I mean, you know, it's, of course, it's completely up to you. All right, well, today we're going to get away from nonfiction. And uh, so today starts fiction. You know, usually you hear this when you... I'd like to see one of them movies, you know, one of them fancy Hollywood movies with the with Denzel Washington and and Will Smith and all them folks like that, because you know it's about to be fiction. Well, that's why you know we got that. So now we're gonna start talking about fiction. Now we're gonna start reading some selections dealing with fiction, and uh, fiction is always interesting because the author has a free hand to express themselves in in different ways. So. Let's kick off our very special day of starting with our fiction with a selection you have already read called A Rose Family. But let's take a look at it. Listen to the experts first. Three different 
different um, elements, and it's fiction, poetry, and drama. Uh, fiction itself can be broken down into two categories, and the two categories are escape and imaginative. Imaginative is sometimes called interpretive. So I'll just put a slash there, and I kind of use those interchangeably. So basically, fiction, uh, there, there are two types. And then uh, people who read. Okay, well, you should have already seen that on the website, so we won't have a lot of time, but you are responsible for whatever she's talking about. So if you haven't seen her yet and listened to what she's talking about concerning fiction, you might want to do that tonight. I would do it tonight, just make sure I have it in my notes, just in case any questions are on any exams or tests that you may have. Well, this is the selection you were supposed to read, and I hope you read it, because if you didn't read it, you're going to have some problems today. Okay, a rose for Emily, yes, and I think you already did the selection sheets for it, right? Yes, if you didn't, you got a zero. If you did, then you're ready for today. Yes, all right, a rose for Emily, a rose for Emily. Okay, let's get busy here. We'll start off with the really hard stuff. Who is the author? Okay, all right, all right. Now I guess we're going to do the really, really difficult stuff. The band, what is the focus? Okay, now that we got through with the hard stuff, now I can call on some other people. And Oh, what do I have here? I got my daily quiz uh, uh, thingy majiggy here. Let me go ahead and get my pen out. You know, red pens are for teachers. A lot of these. Okay, so, all right, so we got uh, Miss Mr. LeBan. Okay, pretty good there today. And uh, Miss Alat. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, so that just leaves a few more individuals. These questions we are going to discuss in a moment. Okay, here we go. Who is the author and Miss Alas said William Faulkner? Well, Miss Aya. <laughs> I got it right. Okay. Give us some information about William Faulkner. What do you mean you don't know? You got to know about William Faulkner. That was a part of the assignment. You had to get some extra information. Okay, Mr. Lag, give us some extra information about William Faulkner. Yes, Mr. Lag. Uh, more information about William Faulkner. You got any? Huh? Information about William Faulkner. What are you doing? More information about William Faulkner. No? Yes. Okay, you got anything else for me? Oh, okay, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, here we go. Since this is a small class, you will have, you know, two or three opportunities after that. Zero, okay, here we go. I need some background information. I want to know all about the selection or what the information surrounding selection and remember we said that that's information that doesn't deal with what is in the selection but anything surrounding the selection information that would help us understand the selection yes Ahmed hey uh No, no, no. Nothing to deal with inside the selection. Background information, and I told you that information can be obtained at the beginning. Thank you. No, 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 no. Your phone. Thank you. Miss Alat. Come on, come on. No, the phone that you're using in your hand, Miss Alat. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. Whatever you got. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I don't know what you, I know what you, who you sending what to, or whoever it is. 
I'm getting it today. Tell him, whoever he is, that uh, you have a class. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, that was on you. Yeah. First person narrative. I don't, uh, no, that's not background information. Background information is found to the left of the first page. It says build the background. You're supposed to read that and jot some notes. What you got for me? In the build the background? Okay, all right, uh, no problem. Nobody can answer those questions. All right, some of you got one more opportunity. Here we go. What is the focus? Uh, hey, uh. What do you mean you didn't read it? Really? Oh, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed, Mr. Ada. Well, you know, that is one of the requirements for our class that you actually have to, uh, you know, do some reading. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Ahmed. The focus. M method what? Method man. <laughs> that guy's still, he's still around. <laughs> Who? What? I tell you something I, I would like to find out what's going on with. I'll be sure. You remember him? I'll be sure from. You ever heard of him before? I'll be sure. Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember? I'll be sure. I met him a long time ago when he was popular. <laughs> Answer. Focus. Focus. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't worry about it. I know those tough questions tend to uh, get to us. And okay. All right. Well, don't don't worry about it too much. Don't let it uh, you know keep you awake at night. But uh, all right. Here we go. Uh, focus. What's the focus? Huh? What? Oh. Okay. Let me let me make it simple for you. <clears throat> what is the focus of the selection? Let me ask you a question. Oh, let me ask you a question. Did you did you go to the reading section? Did you look at any of the video, videos in the reading section? Mr. Lat, yes. Mr. Lat, have a seat. Oh no, you don't have to have a seat. So, not a bit. I, I, you know, I don't want you to feel like you know you you have to do anything. You're forced to do. Okay. Did you see? Did you look at any of the videos in the in the reading section of our website to like get you caught up on some stuff? Format of uh, literature. No. You don't have time. I mean, I understand if you don't have time. If you don't have time. I mean, you know, it's, it's cool. Okay. All right. Well. I, uh. Okay. Okay. Characterization. That is the focus. Oh, you don't have to write it down. Ain't no big deal. It won't be on any exam or anything. Okay, yeah. And what is characterization, Miss Alette? Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. So, characterizing people? Char characterizing people like big, small, short, tall, like that? No. What do you mean? Um, their personalities. Their personalities. Smart, stupid, like that? Okay. All right. Do anyone has any other insight on what characterization means? No one? Mohammed. <laughs> Refers to the technique a writer uses to develop a character. To develop a character. And we're talking about non... Why am I talking about We're talking about fiction right now. Okay, we're talking about fiction. Okay, okay, here we go. For example, and since you didn't know this, you need to write this. For example, 
physical description because that helps us to understand the character which in turn helps us to understand the selection knowing the physical description because if you reading a, a story and it's talking about how everyone is afraid of this person and the author never describes the person person's physical description or never gives us a description of how the person looks physically then no it's because the character is seven feet tall you understand what I'm saying? You'll be wondering, well, why are they so afraid of this guy? He seems nice. Okay. Character's own actions, words, thoughts, and feelings. Sometimes as the writer writes and, you know, in includes dialogue. Dialogue of the characters. You can get an idea of what type of person the character is just by reading the dialogue. For instance, if a person in the dialogue you know, uses, you know, very intelligent words and, 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 and manners of speaking, then you would just assume that the character is, uh, is someone intelligent. If in the dialogue the author writes a bunch of swear words that the character uses, you know what swear words are, right? Those are words that your mama punch you in the mouth for if you say them around her. Those are those words you're not supposed to use, you know, so if, if the character is throwing, using those type of words, we know that's not a good person, right? <laughs> right? Right? Or oh, it's cursing cool. Cursing is cool. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll just... I mean, I don't know. I mean, was it cool when I was in the 11th grade? I don't know. Maybe now it's like acceptable. You can curse around your parents, right? No big deal, right? Huh? Huh? No. No? Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I know things be changing. I don't know. Okay, here we go. The actions, words, thoughts, and feelings of other characters. <laughs> if the author puts in the selection, you know, the other characters don't, you know, necessarily like that particular character. Say if they was writing a story about Mr. Quick, you know, <laughs> and the author had to write, you know, the thoughts and feelings of other characters like students, you know, and then you would get an idea about that main character which is Mr. Quick <laughs> but of course in that case reading that story it would be a story about you know how much everybody loves Mr. Quick class right <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'll be saying yes <laughs> oh, okay yeah, well, hey no big deal okay we got that now we can move on oh we left one out narrator's own direct comment about the character Yes, and in a story about Mr. Quick, it'd be, you know, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 the narrator's own direct comment. And I like to say, you know, usually <clears throat> in a story, when the narrator makes a direct comment about the character, that's, that usually has a, a, a more weight or is more weighty than these others, I think, in my opinion. Yes, because we always assume that the narrator of a story has more insight than anyone else in the story, right? Sometimes even the character, because even the character only is seeing things in a, in, in a first-person perspective, so the narrator usually sees everything and what's going on and know everybody, so you usually trust the narrator a little more in, uh, in those types of uh, fiction uh, stories. Yes? Okay, well... Now that we know what the focus is, now that we know what we're looking for, now we know what we need to do. And yes, all right, here we go. How does the focus relate to the selection? This is what it's all about, okay? The focus is characterization. It's not anything else. So that's what we need to be thinking about, the definition of, as we go over this first selection. I mean, uh, passage. Yes, okay. Later, later, the mayor wrote her himself, offering to call or to send his car for her and received in reply a note on paper of an archaic shape in a thin flowing calligraphy and faded ink to the effect that she no longer went out at all. The tax notice was also enclosed without comment. Okay, well, we're going to slow down. <laughs> slow, slow down. Uh, like in the minibus. Okay. Now. What's going on? <laughs> you read it. I guess. I hope. What's going on?
What's the what happened before this? Do we know anything? What's going on? She's not paying taxes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. A anything else? Anything else? Do we know anything? What do we know? I mean, other than what I just read, Miss Elat, what do we know? About what's going on? We just came in the middle of it. We all know what's going on. What happened before this? Who was her? Hmm? Emily. Okay. All right. Leah, who is Emily? You didn't read it either. Did anybody read it? Well, Mom, you read it. Tell us about what's going on before that. <clears throat> Tell us. Mayor taxes, what is that about? Why why he says she don't want to pay taxes. I guess we gathered that from that. Why not? What's what's going on with her? Why she don't want to pay taxes? Hmm? She just don't like paying taxes? She's poor. She's poor? Okay, okay, okay. A anyone else? Yeah. Something. Something is better than nothing, that's for sure. Poor. Anything you want to add? No? Okay, well, I, we don't know anything, but we're going to keep writing. We're going to just keep reading, I guess. You know, that's, that's the best thing to do. Okay. Yes, they called a special meeting of the Board of Aldermen. A deputation waited upon her, knocked at the door through which no visitor had passed. And she ceased giving China painting lessons eight to ten years earlier. They were admitted by the old Negro into a dim hall from which a stairway mounted into still more shadow. It smelled of dust and disuse. A closed, dank smell. The Negro led them into the parlor. It was furnished in heavy, leather-covered furniture. When the Negro opened the blinds of one window, they could see that the leather was cracked. And when they sat down, a faint dust rose sluggishly about their thighs, spinning with slow motes in the single sun ray. On, the tar on a tarnished gilt easel before the fireplace stood a crayon portrait of Miss Emily's father. They rose when she entered. A small, fat woman in black with a thin gold chain descending to her waist and a varnish and vanishing into her belt Leaning on an ebony cane with a tarnished gold head, her skeleton was small and spare. Perhaps that was why what would have been merely plumpness in another was obesity in her. Can you see? Her, <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> she looked bloated like a body long submerged in motionless water and of a, that pallid hue her eyes lost in the fatty ridges of her face looked of dough, at, uh, of dough as they moved from one face to another while the visitors stated their errand. Uh, okay, I'm not, I'll wait for that question. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here we go. She did not ask them to sit. She just stood in the door and listened quietly until the spokesman came to a stumbling halt. Then they could hear the invisible watch ticking at the end of the gold chain. Her voice was dry and cold. I have no taxes in Jefferson. Colonial said I can explain it to me. Perhaps one of you can gain access to the city's records and satisfy yourselves. But, but we have. We are the city authorities, Miss Emily. Didn't you get the notice from the sheriff signed by him? I received paper yesterday, Miss Emily said. Perhaps he considers himself the sheriff. I had no tax in Jefferson. But, 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 there, but, but there's nothing on the books to show that. You see, we must go by the... See, come on and say I have no tax in Jefferson. But Miss Emily... See, come on and say See, colonial satirist had been dead almost ten years. I... No taxes in Jefferson. Toby! The Negro appeared. Show these gentlemen out. Okay. Very interesting. 
So, Miss Aya. Uh, no, nah, hold that. I want to get my man right here. My man. Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed. Is Miss Emily a nice woman? No. Well, why are you, where you get that from? She, she doesn't look nice. She's beautiful though, right? She's not beautiful because she don't want to pay taxes. Oh, okay, all right, very interesting, very interesting. I mean, hey, to each his own. You know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Ahmed finds her beautiful. She just has a problem paying taxes. That's okay. Okay, I have a question. Uh, I need a slight example of characterization that we can pull from this passage here. Uh, eh, uh, Mm. Even those who didn't read didn't necessarily have to read to be able to do that one. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's hard, maybe it's not. Mom, you want to give a stab at it? Want to Jason it? <laughs> hey, let's start a new thing. Instead of saying, want to stab, take a stab at it, say you want to Jason it? Jason! Yeah, I know Jason. Friday the 13th, Jason. Okay, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. <sighs> Their voice was okay, so what is that? What, what's that? Describing what? Emily. Emily. Okay, explain it to me like this. What part of the definition of characterization would apply to what you just showed me? Because you, oh, wait a minute, where is it at? I want to find it for everybody. Where? Next, one. Next one. Yes. Right here. Okay. What? Part of the definite characterization would apply to that example. Does anyone disagree with that? Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you disagree with what she just said? She said that her voice was dry and cold is an example of the definition of characterization, actions, thoughts. Who disagrees with that? Yes. Which part of it do you think it is? Anyone? Yes? No, 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 no. We ain't there yet. We're still dealing with Miss A. said. <clears throat> Look at your definition. Look at the definition of characterization. Miss A. said an example of characterization in the story is her voice was dry and cold. I agree, but I want to know what part of the definition applies to that. And which is that? Everyone agrees with that? Liban, you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Anyone else? <clears throat> Think about this. If it's something you can see, if it's something you can hear, okay, uh, <laughs> then it's probably a physical description. I didn't say you have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, maybe, possibly, probably. I mean, what do you think, Mr. Lett? Why? Why do you think? Just because I said it? That's not what this is about. <laughs> I, that's not what this is about. Do you, you just saying that just because I said it, or you agree? Why you, why you agree? Mm-hmm. Uh, Oh, okay. Okay, so he's trying to get you to hear what she's saying. Okay, all right, I can accept that. Go ahead with you about that. Show me another one. Yes. Yes, right here. Yes. Okay, and uh, what was that? That's it. You're saying that's an example of characterization? Okay, what, 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 what part of the definition? Anyone disagree? Mohammed? You agree? You sure? Akhmet? Liban? Hey. Okay. All right. I need some more. Come on. That's two. It's only two? No, come on. Mohammed. Come on, Mohammed. Example. Okay, wait a minute. All right. And uh, we're at. The end. 
and okay, and that's what? Of who? What 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 part of it is a description of Toby? Oh, he's a Negro. Okay, all right. So that means that he uh, that means he's white, right? Huh? Blue? I'm just curious. Green? What 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 what? Black. Huh? Black like your shirt? <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, 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 who agrees with that sub physical description? Raise your hand. Uh, I'm not, who agrees with that as being a characterization? It's not? You, you agree, Miss Aya? Miss Aya? You agree? That that's a physical description? No? Don't nobody agree with you, Muhammad? What's that about? <laughs> I'm just. Okay, yes, yes, go ahead. Did you just use that one? No. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, what's that? You sure? You sure? Hey. Yes. You agree with that? She said physical description. Mama? Yes, he's describing. I said Mama. Mama. Be a man, be a man to be a leader. You don't have to agree with them. Come on. What's going on? Huh? Tell us. You agree? With what? You agree with what? No, no, it's uh, uh, huh. huh? Huh? Which one? Okay, we. You know what? No more physical description. I need. I need another one. I need another one. I need another one. of Look at your definitions. Look at your definition. I need another. See, physical description is probably the easiest of those definitions to find examples of in, in, in literature. Let's go beyond easy. Let's go to the next level. Taking learning to the next level. Let's do it. 11th grade. Show them how it's done. Take your time, take your time. We need, we need some. We don't take too long, but you know. Yes, ma'am? Uh, yes. She did not ask us to sit. Okay. Okay. We, here? Where's that at? Oh, right here. Say, say it again. Say it loud so we can we can. She did not ask them, ask them to sit. She just stood at the door and said quietly until the school came to us. Okay, explain it to us. Okay, okay, okay. Help them out even further. What does that tell us about her? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Think about it. Read it again. Think about it. What does that? What does the author telling us about her? Uh, I mean, you can agree or disagree in a minute. I just want to get what Miss Allah. Go ahead. She's impolite. Okay. What she do? <laughs> Should we hit everybody with a cane or something? She's like, yeah. No, I think I, I like impolite. But but no no. But she listened quietly. But she listened quietly, look. She didn't just start yelling at him. She's not saying she's She 
Oh, she she oh she doesn't seem interested. So she just let them finish what they were saying. Yes? I like I like that. Say that again. She's not interested in what they have to say. I'm not saying she's not mean. But I mean, but when you look at her, it makes her seem like she's not mean. But then the same part, she at least she listened to him. Right? Right? But then Allah helped us to understand what that meant. By saying what? What you just said? By saying that she's not interested in what they have to say. Now, sometimes when you don't want to hear what the teacher's saying, and you, 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 you just, you know, you're not mean by saying anything, but you just don't. Huh? She had to listen to him. She had to listen to him. Okay. So, she's kind of nice, kind of not nice, kind of nice. She had no choice. She had to listen to him. Were they holding her down? <laughs> they tied her up. It's a, it's a joke. Okay, all right. Come on. That's good. That's good. I want something. I want another one. Actually, uh, I, wanna, I, want some, I want another one. Now, we dealt. Hold up. We dealt with. Did we deal with all three definitions yet? Muhammad, you can get into it. It's a free, it's a free for all. Free for all. Yes. Yeah, Miss Elag got that one. We, we we don't want any more physical description. We want the other two. Yes. What's that? Okay, but what, but but you have to ask yourself this: What does it tell us about the mayor's character? If it's not helping us with the mayor's tell, if it's not helping us understand the mayor's character, then we, how? Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. That's telling us what. Come on, come on. I got, I got what you're saying. Take it, take it to the. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mister. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, come on. You were right there. You're right there. You're saying it's, it by saying that the mayor wrote her himself is telling us what about her character. She had a strong character. Okay. High up. That's all I wanted. Did you get that? She was saying because the author makes a point to tell us that the mayor, the man, the big man, wrote her himself. You get that? That he, she must be like either she's somebody important, either she's somebody everybody know. I mean, she was, yeah, she was important to my, she was known before, maybe. Did you get that? So we understand more about her. So we know she's somebody. She's not just a nobody, not just an old lady living in a house. You get it? You got it? Come on, some more, come on. It's some more, it's a whole lot in there. It's a whole, it's a whole lot up in there. Okay. Yes. China painting. What does it tell us? Yes. Yes. Did you get that, Miss Aya? Yes. This is an example of narrator's own direct comment. 
It didn't come from anybody else. It didn't come from Miss Emily description. It didn't come from the other people or the mirror or the altar man or nothing like that. The narrator inserted that to help us understand that, you know, this, this is like a woman is like alone, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well. Yes. In general. What would you say about this selection in general? But a question before you answer that. Miss Aya. That's why you didn't read it. You didn't read it. You didn't read it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You didn't read it. Uh, I tell you what. I would read that selection tonight. Look at that. Just in time. Because you never know what's going to happen when you come to class tomorrow. I'll read that selection tonight. Because there's a big part of what's going on in this selection that we haven't even looked at. So, <laughs> thank you for coming to visit me today, Miss Aya. You got to read. I don't know what's going on with that stuff. I know y'all like got jobs after school and y'all like really busy and you know, y'all famous as I don't know, y'all famous and stuff. Y'all got like, you know, stuff y'all got, whatever. Y'all better read. I know that much. <laughs> Nobody wants to read. who believes that this wasn't set up by our own government is an idiot.